y'all can't see the underlying problem right here and oh where is it oh there it is i can't really see it because i'm upside down anyways that's the gas tank strap falling off my truck so oh, you can't see it okay there it is so i'm gonna fix that today Mm. Okay, so as you can see, I ain't really got a whole lot of room, and tripod is not faring well. So anyhow, I have to get that bolt right there off. That's my strap, which is loose here. Now, uh, I had plated this once, and I'm not sure why, because I can't see up in there where it's come off. Right there, you see the... So I might... <laughs> I might just... I don't actually know what happened up in there, and it... Looks like the plate I put on it just came off, which it shouldn't have done, or it came out above it, uh, which is what it appears to have done. It just rotted out above it, but it looks at what I can see up in there. So the plate I put on is, is here underneath, and, and so it went out above it. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is probably, let me get this out of here. I gotta remember how I got it out, because I got, I got connections. I got connections here I gotta get out, and then I got, stuff up in over there and I can't remember if I dropped it first or <laughs> and then mess with them so I'm gonna get the straps off and uh, once I get this out of here and get this bomb this is essentially a bomb when I start welding and grinding in here so I'm gonna get this bomb out of my way so I don't blow up and then uh, I should have enough room to get you guys in here so you can kind of see me repair this I hope okay so Bomb is removed. What a pain in the butt, and I'd forgot how to do it. <sighs> you know, because they don't make this stuff easy to get at. <laughs> all, all this went up to the, whoops, I'm sorry. All this went up to the fill tube, along with this one here. So those all had to be disconnected inside the fender. Uh, there's a plug that's only about, um, you know, a skosh long, so you got to get that undone. Uh, prior to dropping it, which didn't happen. I found it after I started dropping it. <coughs> and then they have these uh, these funky little connectors. And this one ran way up here in front of the truck. And this one also ran up in front of the truck. Now, this is the only one that had any fuel come out of it. So we'll leave her there. And then there was another plug there for your fuel pump, obviously. Now, the fun part. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, uh, I'll show you what i got to deal with. And now, I'd fixed this once, and I thought, well, I didn't do that right. And of course, you know, it always breaks in the winter. But, all right, I gotta, I gotta find a way in here. <laughs> uh, I don't have a hoist, so I'll just land on the ground and stuff sucks. So anywho, I welded this plate here on. All right, now, see how thin it is. Now, it came out through there. Oops, I'm sorry. It eventually just wears. It goes in here, it comes down. Eventually wears through that. So what I didn't do, and I should have thought about it later, was clean this out and notch it, which I didn't do. And and uh, I'm probably going to do that and just kind of um, add some weld to those so they stay in place and just notch this down further because there's just a, a chunk of metal in here and it's a bunch of dirt. So I'm going to cut her straight down so that this plate right here. Well, hold on to the strap down a little bit lower. Now, let me find the tripod, because it's holding my head up in the welding and the grinding, and then all that crap ain't going to happen with me holding you guys. <laughs>
Can't really weld rust. Okay, all this is just me too lazy to get out and go out there and turn the heat down. Uh, I just cut it bigger so that it was up against this thicker plate. And I just wanted to weld the, <laughs> the, the cuts up. Uh, so pretty much I'm going to put it back together like this. And <laughs> I'm going to grind it down some and shoot it with some paint. Uh, and I got a piece I'm going to go out and get to weld on there. It's in the shop, but this in and out is just awful from underneath this truck because there ain't a whole lot of room to do anything. I know, it looks like so much fun, don't it? Could you guys see what I was doing? Probably not, huh? How to knock that around? Y'all just fell over for the hell of it. So, it looks like poo, but it should, oop, burn my finger. Um, I should hold that strap in there, no problem. Well, what happened was it just opened up. It's really thin material. There was a recall on it, uh, but the recall came like three months after I had fixed it, so I didn't bother to go in. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. This is really horrible. Shit. Oh, come on. Redneck engineering at its finest. <laughs> well, you can do what you got to do, right? <clears throat> I suppose I could have taken it in, but you know what? <clears throat> if they knew we were going to charge me for it, I don't have the money for it. And, uh, you know, it's really kind of a pain in the butt to do it this way. <clears throat> I really do think I had the truck in further, and the wheels were up on the concrete here instead of out side the door like that because it was a little more difficult this time than it was last time and i think that's because of the of the way she's sitting in here so i have to get you all out of the way because i have to put that bomb back in here and get this all back up so it ain't hanging up my garage like this all night or my barn what we want to do and then i gotta go in the shop and work on a project for y'all for friday <laughs> hang tight Why? There's a back and a front. <laughs> this is the back one. Hey, that's more better. Look at that. Ha. Follow the instructions. <laughs> Where is the other bolt? See the other bolt? Uh, I don't see it anyway. <clears throat> I know y'all y'all are stuck over there. I can't get a good you see how tight this is? <laughs> Alright. So you're on, you're on. Oh, little plug. Where are you, little plug? There you are. There you go, right? Uh -huh. Awesome! <laughs> All right, damn jack out of my way. <clears throat> or not. Ow! God, that hurts. Oh. Yay! All right, where's the tools? There they are. There's the airline. And way over here. 
There's the impact gun. Alright, so what are you guys doing? Who the hell is that? Oh. It's you. Come on. Got to go on. Come on, go on there. You're done? <sighs> no, I need a I need a zip tie because I broke this clip, so I'm zip tie it on. But other than that, I'm done. Where are they? I don't know. Okay. Uh, you want to drag that thing out? It's gone. So, and just push the, the little pause button on it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so I know I had to cut a lot out because I'm tired. Things didn't go right. You know how things are when they don't go right. Bad things come out of mouth. <laughs> so, anywho, let's see if we can get some uh, go. We have go. Oh, and get her out of here. And clean up the mess. Yeah, outside. My horse pasture full of water. I don't know where Henry went. Horse pasture back there too, honey. Spring is rolling in. Oh, who did that to my mirror? All right, truck outside. <laughs> oh. oh, that pulley thing is next. Hear that? Squeak, squeak. Look, there we are with a light on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Redneck Engineering at <laughs> 101. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, you know, it is what it is. And, and I just don't have the money to go get it fixed. I know there's a recall on it, but that recall happened after the fact, and I'm not sure if they would even bother with it. So uh, I can't take truck into shop and talk about it in front of the sticker board. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, it's just my, you know... In the middle of the week, I did something project. And I'm tired and I'm dirty. And now I gotta go move around bail. So anyways, uh, you know, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just something to do. <laughs> we'll catch y'all next week.